everybody Ann here sitting out on my porch today having my coffee with all of you because it's gonna be a scorcher today so I'm going to spend probably the whole day outside and I am going to can up something unusual and something delicious first things first I got to prepare my jars those are half pints I've already added a half cup of water to the pan and to that I'm going to add a half cup of packed brown sugar one and a half cups corn syrup. One cup of real maple syrup. And it is 100% pure maple syrup. There's no corn syrup added, just ingredients, maple syrup. And I love this uh, glass jug that it comes in. I'll be able to reuse it for something else. Right on. One teaspoon ginger. Just gonna stir this up a little bit. And then, I'm gonna put it over fire. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the propane cooktop or the, yeah, I don't feel like starting a fire, so. We're just gonna bring this to a boil and let it cook for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes until this kinda thickens up a little bit. It's boiling. I'm going to reduce the heat and uh, just let it go for, uh, we'll try 10 minutes and see what it looks like. All of a sudden, I turned around and it was doing this. I had even reduced the heat. So I'm going to reduce the heat some more and let it go for, I don't know, maybe just a couple more minutes. And the next ingredient is going to be these walnuts. I received about, I think, six bags of these from this thing called Commodities. You've heard me talk about it before. And what are you going to do with six bags of walnuts? Well, I'm going to make a delicious dessert with it. I'm going to add two cups of walnuts. Two. I'm going to stir it up and simmer it for five minutes. Doesn't that look gorgeous, you guys? It is done cooking, and I'm gonna just let it cool just a teeny, teeny, weeny bit and get all four jars out um, because I wanna fill them up pretty fast and I wanna divide the walnuts between the four jars. So let me get the jars out because they're done. Let me just pick up some of these walnuts first and put them into each jar. I think that's even enough, don't you? Time for the syrup. I've already tasted this, and it is really, really delicious syrup. This turned out to be the perfect amount of syrup. Don't worry, I'm going wipe, to wipe my rims off. There we go. Looking good. Looking delicious. Oh my goodness. We're almost done, you guys. Almost ready to go into the canner. And just... Finger tight. Let's get them in one by one. Put the lid on and fire this baby up. Yep, they're boiling. I'm going to let them water bath for 10 minutes. While they're canning, I'm going to go take a look down by the street and check out my apple trees. Well, would you look at this? This is the honey Honeycrisp apple tree, and it doesn't self-pollinate, so it has to have like a different species around, like a gala. And I've got one apple. I don't think that there's anymore just the one oh my gosh I'm gonna have a honey crisp apple isn't it beautiful and these apples on this gala apple tree are getting a lot bigger if they can just hang on long enough to make it through the cedar rust I don't know if you can see the little orange spots on the leaves that's cedar rust man I need to get some of that antifungal but there's a lot of apples you guys a lot of apples uh, bugs are getting to some of them but at least the birds aren't getting them I'm not gonna cover that whole tree with 
uh, netting like this because there's only one apple. Maybe I'll just cover that one apple. But look at you guys. They're beautiful. I think I'm going to have a few apples this year. Ding, ding, ding! Ten minutes is up. I'm going to turn off the heat and let them cool. Let's see if one of them pings, like right away. Oh no, maybe. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, you guys? One of them already pinged. Popped. Another one. That was quick. They're done. Let me just get them out. And I heard four of them ping already. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I know it's going to be delicious because I already tasted it, the syrup. So we'll just wait 12 hours and I'm pretty sure they're going to seal. Look at these dogs playing in the mud. Cindy loves, loves, loves Papa. I don't know where Sandy is. There she is. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Mama loves you. What you doing, Roxy? I don't have any food for you. Maybe I'll go get some. Maybe I'll go forage for some. Oh, look, they're all coming now. <laughs> yep. That's Miss Dovey. She's the favorite hen. You can tell because she's got a bunch of mud on the back of her. I love my chickens so much. They're just glorious. So you may be wondering what you do with that. They're also called wet walnuts. I just call them walnuts and syrup. Um, you can put them on ice cream. You can put it on pancakes, French toast, waffles. Um, I don't know. I I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff you could do with them, but those are the things that I, I like to do with them. So success. I can't wait to open up a jar. I may go to the store and get some ice cream, just a little tub, you know, just a little tub. Here I am talking about losing weight and I'm making all this sweet stuff. Ugh. But if you just have a little bit of it, right? Just a little bit. Anyhow, um, it's been a happy day and I'm glad I got that stuff done and it's hot. I mean, it's 87, feels like 90, but that's okay. So, uh, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.